bisa But like everywhere, the bomb, the hand, hey. I, I think most of the stress is hidden in my butt. <laughs> because when she stood on my butt and was uh, whatevering it, I felt so good. I felt so relaxed. Even here behind the neck, uh, in the head. Even I think all my stress hides in my butt. <laughs> Hello good people, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised and my name is Erina TL. Oh, I wanted to tell you that woman is Erina TL and welcome to this video. If you're new to this family, please consider subscribing and if you've been here, a returning subscriber, I truly and truly appreciate your support. Thank you for 11k. We are on the road to 20k with your amazing support. We know we are going to make it. So my time in Turkana has been so amazing, but because my body is making a lot of adjustments, sometimes I feel it's getting exhausted. I get tired easily because of the change in weather actually it's a drastic change in weather I came from very cool weather to a hot hot weather like I told you the sun in Tukana is sunning and it is male sun it has a beard and a big voice that's the kind of sun I'm dealing with in Turkana but nevertheless we are glad that we are here and thank you so much for all the support on all the videos so today my mama so i was very reluctant like okay not reluctant like getting lazy ish 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 because my body was taking long to adjust and she considered it right to give me a mini massage but when she tried it i truly enjoyed it and so i asked her to give me a very very detailed one and this is how they do it in Turkana, literally i used to think my body can't take this like oh no 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 this is torturing my own body but guess what it's not the body can take a lot more than we can imagine though we should never subject our bodies to extremely harsh conditions yeah it should be one within the limits that the body can tolerate and i felt from the way i felt actually this was within the limit that the my body could take it made it feel so good i really relaxed yay a lot actually this body i just got to know that the entire body is connected right the mind the body and the soul because at some point my mind could be completely off or it's like i'm how can i say it i'm skipping moments like mini blackouts because of the too much sun like it was really hard for my body to adjust in Chukana. but these kinds of modes relaxing and all this was so good so this is where this is how they do it they always carry it out in a shed that's a cool space yeah so that it can aid more on the relaxation so where we are right now it's under a big huge tree the most of the trees in the desert are mainly shrubs yeah so you have to be careful where you lay your mat because it could be on thorns and the thorns will be some they will do some kind of justice to your body so you have to be careful as you lay the ground where you're going to do it out now this is a full body massage from toes to the ankles to the legs to the hips wow the back felt so good 
I think that's the best part of my body. It felt so good massaging my back. So we go to the back, the lower back, oh yes, I needed that. Then the upper back, the arms, the neck, the head. Like it's a detailed massage. And sometimes she tells me, they always do this to their husbands when they come back home in this land. It's a way of having your husband relax from a long day of work. Wow, imagine having such a treat on a daily. But she says on a daily you don't do a detailed or like a full body massage. It's mainly from the neck upwards but maybe on a, on a weekend that's when you can do a full detailed body massage and every time she stepped on me at first i was like oh can i carry this weight yes i did i did carry that weight and it felt so good felt so relaxing it was like my body was getting stiff and stiffer and this is this was a way of relieving it up like i cannot truly explain in words what i felt but i just know it felt so so good now i don't mean to say that you try this at home i think also the weight of the person doing it matters like it has to colorate imagine someone small gets someone okay someone light gets someone heavier to do that i feel the body may be overwhelmed that's what i feel but where i come from okay this is not something done so intentional like on a daily to help somebody relax but it's mainly a treatment given to uh, mothers when they have just given birth but, but they are massaged with hot towels hot warm okay like those extremely warm you know that warmness that is tending to hotness so the whole body they take like 7 to 14 days of uh, massaging the entire body head to toe so that they help the body readjust back to the initial shape though they don't completely go back but it helps the body heal faster because most cases when a woman is pregnant a lot of the body adjusts to accommodate the baby even the organs so the best thing they can do to the external features of the body or to the entire body is to give that woman a full body massage that is done with warm or hot towels it also helps her to heal faster relax and feel good it's a way like of also caring for the mother because most cases when the moms give birth the care is mainly given to the baby so this is a way of also caring for mothers and helping them regain uh, their bodies in time my Tukana mom tells me that this can be further done like this if you have cow ghee because they're mainly cut, uh, cattle keepers um, but here in Turkana they mainly have I saw the area I was in they mainly have goats and what and all that here in Turkana all areas which keep mainly cow that can make cow ghee they make that you know cow ghee is like oil so they will have to uh, um, smear the entire body with cow ghee and it's the one which will work as the massage oil so that the body the hands are not so rough with the body so the whole body will be massaged with cow ghee it's also one way of uh, it's like a skincare routine but also a massage routine so if you can find any of those but be sure if you use cow ghee you first stay okay how they use it they apply it on the body do the massage then you rest for some time some people don't wash it off but it really smells yeah too much for me so i would advise that maybe you wash it off for some time and i just want to remind you kaugi is so good for the skin at least i've seen that where i come from it's part of the body care that is given to brides to be okay women who are getting married or girls that are getting married they are often given that kind of care
I hope you learned a thing or two. Please be sure to leave feedback in the comment section below. How do you relax your body? How do you work on the body? Or what are some of the treats that you give to your body as a sign of self-care, self-love, and self-awareness? Yep. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. And see you in the next vi vi video. Because you can make on me all day. I mean, you can look on me all day. And I could be your best friend all day. I feel brand new. <laughs> Whoa! I feel relaxed. There is when she came here. The best part was here at the bath, like everywhere. The bum, the hands. Hey! <laughs> I feel brand new. Like what? It feels good. But I feel like I want to sleep right now. Like I feel my body is very relaxed, and I just want to sleep. <laughs> Let me just continue enjoying myself. Hey! Guys, that massage was worth it. Hey, I feel so good. I feel so fresh. Only that now I feel like having a nap. The part of the butt, like when she was standing on my back, way I felt like I, I think most of the stress is hidden in my butt <laughs> because when she stood on my butt and was uh, whatevering it, I felt so good, I felt so relaxed, even here behind the neck, uh, in the head, even the back, but the butt and the head were my best. <laughs> I think all my stress hides in my butt. <laughs> Oh, it is even stress that is making me have a, a big bud because it hides in a bud and then it keeps swelling, swelling. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. That was sweet. So I'm, I'm lying under this tree. This is a view I'm having. Hmm? Too close. 